Costello alongside of Kelly Swoop and we start WMAR 2 News at 5 with breaking news. A man is dead this evening after being shot by Baltimore police. Police are saying the man pulled out a gun and pointed it at officers before multiple officers shot at him. Let's go to WMAR 2 News. Jeff Morgan live at the scene off of Wilkins and Millington in southwest Baltimore. Jeff, what are police saying started all this? Well, Jamie Kelly, police are saying that a district action team was patrolling the area when they noticed a group of people that was standing on the corner. They believed one of those people were armed. They say that the district action team approached that group and one of the men decided to run. Uh, police did chase that man and they say one of the officers nearly tackled the person uh, as he was running away on. Then he continued on Wilkins Avenue. According to BPD, several officers were chasing him when he pulled out a handgun with an extended magazine and pointed it at officers. Police say multiple officers then shot at the man, hitting him multiple times. Officers did not give us the exact age or name of the person shot, but did say he was an adult. An the officer was injured during the chase and originally it was believed the officer was shot. Police did confirm he was not. Both the officer and the man received treatment at the scene and were taken to the hospital where he later died. Uh, they weren't undercover, but they were district action team officers. They were in their, their vest, their police vest, and, and identifiable. They warned the individual multiple times. They yelled to the individual multiple times to drop his weapon, drop his weapon. At one point, an officer got out of the car and attempted to tackle him, and he was able to get away from that officer, at which point he turned and pointed the weapon at the officers. Multiple officers opened fire, striking the individual. He was taken to shock trauma, where he has been pronounced deceased. When we got to the scene here along Wilkins, a witness who wants to remain anonymous sent us these pictures. Uh, you can see a man being wheeled off in a stretcher with injuries to his legs. The person also shared pictures of the weapon police confirmed belong to the man police were chasing. Now police say they've already contacted the attorney general's office who will review this use of force. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News. All right.